for 2100 a month. You do South Austin, it's like 23. So it is more expensive in South Austin. I think you just get like, where he, I'm gonna, he's I, asking, I think, from an investment standpoint. Investment standpoint. Is yeah, South like Austin. where where's the best South place Austin. to buy a rental property? South Austin, hands down, yeah. because the rents are higher. The prices are similar. Like, like Kyle? Can, uh, no, I'd say in South Austin. In South Austin, okay. In South Austin. So um, really, you know, south of the slaughter, if you're looking at, you know, a map slaughter, uh, south of there, you can get a really nice property under 350 and and have really good positive rental rates on it um, or cash flow, uh, however you want to say that. Um, if you go to North Austin, it's a little bit harder to cash flow just because they're, for whatever reason, the rents are about $200 less in some of those areas. Yeah. What about San Antonio? Um, so San Antonio, I feel like our uh, appreciation has outpaced our rental growth. Right. And so we, man, we, we had some great rental deals, uh, previously, but you know, I, I think it's like Austin where the numbers aren't going to look fantastic. Um, but you know that rent increases are going to happen. Right. And so your mortgage payment does not increase as much as rents increase. Um, so a lot of our landlords have done well, um, buying in some areas and, and watching the, the rents increase. So when they bought it year one, like cash flow isn't that great, but year four, they're like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Um, and so I, I would say, you know, picking out some areas that, uh, have room for rental growth is in, in the future growth is probably going to do better for you than focusing on the right now. Cause if you look at the right now on a lot of stuff, um, it doesn't make sense. And I hate to keep pushing everybody to the corridor, right? Cause we love selling Austin. We love selling San Antonio, but we've, um, we've closed a, a couple, like it's we, a fastest a growing Metroplex. The I-35 quarter yeah. between San Antonio and Austin is the fastest growing Metroplex in the entire nation. Well, we, uh, we've, we've closed a couple deals on, uh, brand new duplexes in New Braunfels and San mm -hmm. Marcos. Um, and did so those, you know, in Buda, too? In Buda. Yeah, yeah. We did do okay. a duplex in Buda. Um, and so those are some good areas too, because, you know, a, a lot of people I think get wiped out by capital expenses when they're doing, uh, rental properties, especially if they're doing it part-time and buying a brand new duplex with a 10 year warranty on it is again, spreadsheet doesn't make as much sense. Like lifestyle and lack of headache is way better. So, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of different options here. I just, um, would look for future growth because that's where you're going to make most of your money. Yeah. I think, you know, in Austin, a lot of investors that we're working with, and I mean, a lot of buyers too, uh, I can't really say investors mainly are looking towards that, um, that seven, eight. Uh, in fact, Stephen Park just threw up a good uh, point there. Uh, so I'm going to get to his question, his answer right here. Um, but in that 78745, 78748, which are South Austin, and they're also moving up to where, um, Tesla's going in. Yeah, I was going to say that. Buy something out there. Off of 130. Um, yeah. Had I known that it was coming that quickly, <laughs> <laughs> I would have bought something. I, I So my wife and I were like, okay, let's buy. We're looking at South Austin. We're like, let's buy this rental property versus this one. They had a, a, a new, so Colorado Crossing had their new section. And at first they didn't allow investors to buy in there. So we couldn't really buy in there. So as we started getting the process, we bought the one in South Austin. And yeah. then they opened up the one in uh, over there. The prices were under two fifty. It's nuts. Under two fifty. We had clients buying a three to twenty uh, thirteen hundred square feet perfect rental that they were buying for themselves under two fifty, like two thirty five or two twenty five is what they close. One close at two twenty five. One close a month later at two thirty five. What are they Same worth now? Three three hundred. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, I mean, and and they're not even done yeah. building. They're worth three hundred because but I this. The, and, and it's like it goes against what every investor person says, right? Like yeah. cash flow is king. You got yeah. a cash flow. You got a cash flow. You got a cash flow. In my experience, not to knock that, right? Like you should. You should look at cash flow. But in my experience, all of the big wins my clients have had from their properties has been appreciation, right? Mm -hmm. Like they've they've done okay on cash flow. They've cash flowed 100, 200 bucks a month. It's been good. And then they made like 50 grand right on appreciation and you know it it's going to take a lot of years of cash flow um to equal that so i go against the grain 
I've got uh, a little house we're flipping right next to where the Lone Star development could happen in the future, right? Like that's what I like doing. Buy assets that are in a better uh, zone to appreciate because that, that's where the big money is, in my opinion. Um, I, I agree. Um, so is St. Elmo area worth investing in? I see a lot of development going in that area, but not sure if it will pan out. So I just gave, I just threw out a zip code. What, what Steven's talking about is uh, 78745. So it's south of that Zilker Park area where everybody's, I mean, I had clients in there looking a week ago for 2.1 million. <laughs> uh, uh, we, uh, man, we're still trying to negotiate that one, but anyway. Yeah. Um, but you got to jump in lower to 78745 and there's a ton of development. In fact, uh, Steven, there's a place I did a video on right in that area, right next to there called Cathedral of Junk. Go check out that place. Um, but yes, it, I, would, I would invest in that St. Elmo area. Hands down, it's a great area. The challenge is finding something that's priced well right now because they, uh, they know that there's good stuff there. Um, I can, oh, I've been able I'm to back. hear you. Good, good. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, right. So St. Elmo, yes. There's a lot of really cool condos going there. In fact, I've had a client eyeing a couple of those. Uh, what's the name? Fort. Uh, God, what is they email me like three times a week? Fort something. I want to say Fort Bragg is the name of it, but that's not it. Fort. There's a really cool condo complex going in there. I highly recommend. I think the prices are a little high. Um, they have some 2-2 two -two and 2-1, uh, so that's a good spot um, to look. Um, Steven then also wrote, uh, if that is buyout, not sure if buying a condo is a good idea. So I would say there's some freestanding condos that I would look at. Um, so they're, they look like homes, but they're condos. Um, I would be careful getting into a high rise condo because everybody's moving out of downtown really. So I would be hesitant to buy a, you know, into a, in a, a big building. The well, HOA fees in Austin are really high. I would say if you can get a good deal. If, well, that's why I have a client right now. We're, we're eyeing up quite a few things. So yeah, um, like if you because because look, let, let, let's be honest. Our country has the shortest memory of of anybody, <laughs> right? So it's like yeah, people are moving out of condos because Corona pandemic has been crazy for downtown stuff. So if you can steal a deal from somebody moving out, I I think people are going to go right back to it in a year or two. Yeah, I, I think if you get a condo in that area, that south. Um, uh, St. Elmo area that we were talking about, kind of South Austin. I think there's some really cool developments going there that would that would definitely make some money. Um, all right, Rebecca is really chirping in our ear over here. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. The same is true for Dallas. It's tough rental market in Dallas. See, she's trying to get on the live stream. Rebecca. Rebecca's okay, Rebecca. going to be on though. She's, <laughs> she she's coming up on. next. Yeah, she is. No? She's going to be on. We're, we we actually I'm uh I'm going to probably have her on my, U my other, my second channel doing some yeah. interviews on, on using YouTube. So she'll be on like that. It. Hi, Rebecca. Um, let's see. Rebecca also says, uh, but like year four, Tim was saying, I can't read right now. I can't say it. The, the rentals usually pan out in the long term. Like even if, you know, the first year or two is not that great. Like after rent increases and forward. everything, it really starts to take off. Yes. Steven yeah. said it. But Martin's yeah. got a good question here. Martin, welcome back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, 